What a save! What's going on goalkeepers? Today we're with Chelsea goalkeeper and one glove athlete Marcus Bettinelli for a light session and an insight to his life. Let's go. Back it goes to Adam Matthews, swings a dangerous ball in. Oh, what a fantastic save from Marcus Bettinelli. So obviously you've made that move to Chelsea. It's the Premier League is the pinnacle of football. Like, what's that next step like in terms of goalkeeping? Obviously, the players you're around, the coaching, and just like the overall environment. Yeah, I think you know. I think when you walk into the building, you get a sort of special atmosphere as soon as you walk in. Um, uh, especially that first session, I knew I was I was dealing with top top goalkeepers yeah. um, and top top coaches. Um, so I think automatically that just makes you you know perform better and, and be yeah. better um you know and, and these lads they very very rarely have a bad day so yeah. you you can't afford to have a bad day um so it's i've been i've been very lucky the last few seasons to work with you know mendy and Catherine, you know yeah. top top goal, goal, goalkeepers um, yeah. you know one won the best goalkeeper in the world yeah. um a few years ago and you know one's played at real madrid so you know i've been very fortunate enough to to work with them too and, and work on some, some good coaches here um so yeah they're very lucky in terms of like the general football fan who obviously can read in they see what they see on telly but like that step of premier league goalkeeper and then for say league one league two championship you know everything below like how big is that step like what are those guys like in comparison to no disrespect to anybody else but you know that jump up to the premier league yeah it is you're right there it, there is a huge jump um you know I, i've always cast myself as being a, a good goalkeeper um yeah. and i still do now um, but I don't think boys and girls realise how good these boys are. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to see it day in, day out. Yeah. Um, the power, the strength, uh, the technical ability that they have yeah. to keep the ball at the back of the net um, and perform in huge pressure games, you know, Champions League games, Champions League yeah. semi-finals. Um, so, you know, when you add all that in, um, it's a whole sort of collection and what they've got in their armory is, is incredible. Yeah. Um, and like I said earlier, I've been lucky enough to see that firsthand. Uh, yeah. Because even even myself, I didn't realise how good they were until yeah. you see them up close. Different specimen. Yeah, Brilliant. absolutely. No one's got on me right, but I'll tell you what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Crocs to bring out a pair of boots. Crocs? When Crocs bring out a pair of boots, I'm telling you, they're all that over is. my feet. That's me done. I live in Crocs. I absolutely love them. <laughs> yep. And nice, mate. Yep. Yeah, dude. You know when you was in with England? Yeah. And obviously like Marge's service is outrageous, isn't it? Yeah. Do you feel like you're under so much pressure? Um like when you are and obviously it's a big occasion as well, like. Yeah, especially for I remember first training session, I remember Vicker said to me, I like get ready for the, the speed. Yeah. I was thinking, oh, you've got to keep me hard. Couldn't believe how hard like, how yeah, hard yeah, yeah. he has He has a little one off the cone, I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, yeah. He sets it off the cone, he hits it, and it comes 100 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like but, the cone strike? To be honest, the service is so good, and the ball like doesn't like move that much. It's, 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 yeah. yeah, it's, it's a beautiful it. strike, so it's, it's actually easier to catch sometimes. Nice to catch, yeah. yeah. And when the you do catch it, yeah. yeah. Kill, and you feel, you feel plumb when it, yeah, yeah, when yeah. it sticks as well. Dad and coach like that. Uh, I don't even now I don't call him dad at home. So like Christmas dinner and I'd be I say Vic because like I could never coach. say I could never say dad yeah, yeah, at work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like it was always Vic. So I call him Vic. Um, but yeah, it was tough. He was tough on me, but um, yeah, like yeah, exactly. I think when it yeah. looks bad now, I think he probably thinks I probably if I had a chance again, I probably wouldn't be as tough on him. But yeah. I think every old, every, every old man's tough and he like, you know. He's one of the best. It's exactly. Natural, it's just exactly. one of the best. best exactly. yeah. And I think because he was in football, he knew how hard it was to be a goalkeeper and what you had to, what yeah. you had to face. Yeah. Especially from, you know, like 
managers, other fans, other players. It's a it's a cruel, cruel industry at times. So, yeah, exactly. So I think he was trying to prepare me all for that, and he's just done a great job to be fair to him. I mean, he gave me the worst hips and knees you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me a good pair of hands, but that was yeah, a Yeah, yeah. So you need. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Lovely, Dan. Great speed. Yep. Start. Lovely, mate. You're quite a narrow set as well, aren't you? I tried to, because when I went to Gateshead with Rob, I used to have that quite like wide set. I'm quite tall, like you. What are you, 6'4"? Yeah, 6'4", yeah. So, like, I was kind of always in that, like, wide position, and the second the ball went there or there, I couldn't get out of it, so... You just feel like you're stuck? Stuck, so, like, I go there, and I'm quite, like, explosive with the dive, so... As soon as I go like this, I'm like... Can't get out of that position, so trying to get a little bit narrower, trying not to swing too much with my arms, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's better for me with stepping. Yeah. Than with that narrow step. But. Yeah. I used, I used, to, I used to honestly it was the exact same. I used to be quite wide. Yeah. The first couple of years when I was like pulling my plate, hmm. I had good seasons, but I felt like I was getting stuck sometimes. Yeah. Um, for the lower ones. For the lower ones, yeah. yeah. Especially like the sweeps. And then yeah. over the years, I think as I've gotten a bit older, I got a bit more stiffer. Like, yeah. I feel so much more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a narrower position. What's your so? What's your like typical set position now? Hands. Do you I, swing? Do you have a big jump? No, I've never really had a swing. Um, I've always classed myself as having good hands, and used to have this terrible habit. But like when I was really young, of doing that before shots. Before shots. It's mad how many keepers I see do that. But do you know what right, I think it's from? Like, do you know what I think it's from, man? You're gonna laugh. I actually think it's from when I was younger. Big. My gloves being gloves too, too big, big yeah. 100%. And my, my old man used to always get like second hand gloves from like the goalkeepers that he was working yeah. with. They used to just stick them on me. You know, I was probably a size six and he'd probably give me a size ten. So yeah. I always used to have to push them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's where it comes from. And as I've, right. as I've gotten older, um, I don't do that anymore. So exactly. I just try and I just try and stay quite narrow. Like yeah. sort of shoulder, yeah. shoulder thing. And my, my hands are always kind of just on the top of my quads, yeah. really. That's where I feel most comfortable. Jump? Little jump? Uh, I try not to. Right, okay. But it's 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 very, so normal, very hard, yeah. yeah. Um, I remember sorry, I remember watching you um, England obviously for the training camp and yeah. I remember thinking like it's unbelievable how still you are. Yeah. Like so for me obviously we obviously seem too much I mean, I'm quite a springy keeper, so when I get into that set position, I'm nice and narrow but I just feel myself bouncing. Yeah. When I watch you in the training I'm like it's unre you're you're literally like yeah. like not even moving at all. Yeah. Like, for me, I like I find that so hard. But, yeah. but it's, it's it's the opposite because I, I find being bouncy so hard. And, yeah. and I think there is no I think that's the great thing about goalkeeping. There is no wrong and right. Yeah. You know, you've got Nick Pope per se in the Premier League yeah. playing amazing for Newcastle, really still uses his frame. Yeah. And you've also got people like Anana who can absolutely yeah. spring at a, at, a, at a push of a button yeah. into the top corner out of yeah. nowhere. So I think for goalkeeping there is no right or wrong. I think it's just what what you feel comfortable yeah, with and what sure. you what you find is the best solution for people got the right now. Yeah. What about uh, so for yourself growing up, obviously watching goalkeepers, inspiration or a little bit of an idol for you? Who did you yeah. who did you love? Who did you watch? Who did you see? So when I was really really young, this is the real throwback. Nigel Martin was goalkeeper at Palace. Okay. And my dad worked at Palace at the time, so yeah. Nigel Martin was was my goalkeeper that I always used to look at. And obviously then David Seaman. Um, as I started to get older and really into goalkeeping, I used to love Joe Hart. Joe oh. Hart I used to love him, you know, he was English, I used to love him. Um, and then I was very, very fortunate when I came through the academy at Fulham, yeah. Mark Swartz was the goalkeeper at the time. And to watch Swartz, he was just, I, I modelled my whole game with Swartz. Yeah, yeah. The whole like set position here, yeah. the little steps, he was just so quick, he, yeah. he, could, he could fold. Um, and, and not really sweep, he used to just fold. But yeah. I, 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 such a such a sharp pace, um, and he was a big lad as well. Oh, yeah, massive. Um, yeah. And I, I think you know when I look back now, he's such an underrated goalkeeper yeah, on the prem. Sure. I, mean, yeah. I know he's been racked up huge amounts of appearances, but I was so fortunate enough to work with him and, and see him and, and learn off him. Um, so yeah, my whole game was based on Modric Schwartz. Unreal. So I heard you say talking about Schwartz of the old, um, not making foot saves. Mm. What's your like opinion or preference on that? So for me personally. Obviously, taking up goalkeeping quite late, I'm still quite raw. I make a lot of saves on my feet, and I, I make saves on my feet where I think, like, I, I have coaches might say, go with your hand, go with your hand, but I think, go with my hand, I'm not going to save it. Yeah. But what's your, it, you know, do you make a lot of foot saves? What's your kind of preference on that? Yeah, I, I always try to set in a position where I try and not use my feet. Yeah. But again, I think 
where we're quite tall, yeah. I think to not use your feet is a crime because, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, goalkeeping is about keeping the ball in the back of the net. Mm. And whether that's by your nose, your forehead, or your big toe, yeah. that, that is the goal. Yeah. Um, so for me, as I've gotten older, I, I feel less mobile, I have to use my feet. Yeah. Um, and I think it's such a it's such a good a weapon, it's such oh, a good yeah. tactic. Yeah, tool, exactly. Um, you know, and if someone's close in and you're on the angle, yeah. and you know, they can shoot up there, but they can shoot down there, yeah. you can't you nah, can't do can't both. Do both. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So to make it easier, and I think that's that's goalkeeping is such a hard individual sport as it yeah. is. To make your life easier, to not use your whole body, yeah. you know, it would be silly. So yeah, I think I think feet are so important. Right? Yeah. And love you. Yep. You're so led. Yep. Nice, mate. We'll go two more. Yep. Happy with that? Perfect. Yep. Bet. Yep. All good. Yeah, no, your hand's led. Oh, <laughs> Between us two, we're going to be led. <laughs> right, Bets, little game to finish, little word association game. I'm going to say a word and then you're going to tell me what keeper that reminds you of. Okay, sounds All good? good. Yeah, Ready yeah. to go? Yeah, absolutely, let's do it. Right, reactions? David De Gea. Distribution? Uh, Edison for me. Bravery? Joe Hart. Top hand? I'm gonna go with, I've seen some of your videos and I'm gonna go with you. I'll, I'll take that. That's, I'm gonna go with you, that's spectacular so top ends. <laughs> uh, side volley. Um, oh, Pepe Reina. Yeah, nice. Crazy. Oddball, great guy, Gabor Karali. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Nice, mate. Good stuff. Top man. That's us done. Love it. Touch. Love it. Good service, G. And. Yes. Oh, go, oh, oh, finish it off, get set. Oh, oh,